you know, I am so good. 200 G of Inware, that was easy, piece of cake. And I will save the game, just in case, because I will do something crazy and my Inware will be gone. And thanks, Mighty White. Thank you. So, 200 G of Inware, that was piece of cake. So, I will leave this Inwar somewhere here, because otherwise I will lose it. Where is that Electrum I had? Is it in, in the... So I need Digital Valve, okay. Digital Valve. If I will have the Digital Valve, then I can do some logic finally. I'm not sure if uh, some other guys are watching us as well. Or maybe they do. So, pipe digital valve I said, right? Where is it? Analyzer digital valve, okay. So I'm lazy, so I will print five. Maybe three? Maybe two? Three? Okay, three. Copper, I need more copper. Fabricator, so I have the copper here. J Jamie Git? What do you mean, Mighty White? Jamie Git. And when I will have the... Now, valve, then we can do some rocket science. So I will need the logic reader, of course I will need the memory, then I will need the memory or a processor, right? Okay, so let's do the science, guys. Let's do it. So now we are here, we don't have energy or cables here, but that's not an issue, but we are going to do a science, Mr. White. <laughs> so, of course the stupid valve has the connection for the electricity on the other side, and the digital valve so I can rotate it any any direction and the battery is that no way why okay I need to go back always something in this game like you are ready to build something and then you will see okay I don't have the battery in the power drill or what is it screwdriver Okay, back to digital valve. So, I'm here and guys be ready for real science. So, digital valve, I will rotate it like this and now we can start. I will leave the valves here because I will lose it with my luck. The CO2 loops got me from 2 MPA to 19 MPA in 1.5 hours. Just a single setup. Yeah man, I, I, love the, I like that uh, uh, nitrogen generator. So this will be the fuel setup. Hmm. So I will move this pipe probably just a little bit. Just a little bit. And this steer cut will be really, really easy. So now I 
need to build the of course I don't ah I have the plates here perfect so I need to build the frames otherwise it will be very difficult to place uh, the cables so let's start so I need to read the pipe analyzer right so let's say I will place the T section right here so it will be like this connect it connect it right here and I can start to build it here or here what about here or here no I will build it here I'm absolutely sure the guys who didn't uh, see my tutorials about logic they are laughing at me already I'm just guessing but they will stop in a, in, in a while so 3 section so I mean C section or T section and now I need that special piece of course I don't have the cable here no way there is always something now we have the cables so let's use a corner this corner and let's start with the real science The logic input circuit. Or I mean logic reader. So it will read the pipe analyzer, right? Pipe analyzer, it will read the pressure. So let's say there is a number, blah blah blah. Then it goes to a compare unit, right? So compare unit will be here. So it doesn't need any special cable, so it will compare the, the gas pressure and the memory. The memory will be right here. something like this I will set the memory to 300 blah 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 if the input one is greater than input two then do what no if the input one is less than the memory okay then do something And then, so I will use the writer, logic writer. You can put it here, maybe, or maybe here. So I will use the logic writer, or maybe two logic writers, because it will be even more funny. And we will do some funny. Connect this, or that's the stupid corner, right? This, this, so uh, this. So this logic writer, the input will be the compare unit. Input compare unit. The output will be digital valve. 
course I need to connect it right the output will be the digital valve and the variable will be on so blah 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 if the pressure is less then open the valve no what the hell what did what did I do so if the pressure is less of course output will be the gas mixer I am a moron gas mixer and so it will be on perfect and we will run this uh, digital valve with a switch I guess so I will hide the cables and everything so blah 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 we will get fuel blah 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 and I will bring a gas storage right now so I need a gas storage because I want to have a welder fuel all the time but maybe not right now I'm just thinking how to make it better than my previous version okay so let's say the pressure is zero it will mix the gases to 300 they will be here and then I can switch this digital valve with the switch I guess CO2 nitro volatiles are sitting at about 1820 MPa, I guess. Like, uh, I will get my nitrogen or CO2 generator on uh, probably soon because I will need uh, a lot of stuff as well, like you. But now, now I'm just thinking how to make it better than I had it uh, in my V4 or V5 furnace. So. This is a digital valve. So it goes here. Low pressure. Low pressure? What, what do you mean low pressure? I have everything. Maybe I am breaking the game already? So now I am going to bring a switch. And I will do it like I had it in my V4 furnace. Or maybe electro printer will be faster or easier for a switch. Where is the switch? Motherboard logic? No. Logics, okay. I will print just five because you know I will need them. I will need them all the time. So I have one, and I will take four more, and I should be ready to do more stuff. Okay, I have two. Common printer, you can do it. I will take three, that should be okay. So now I'm going back to my future factory and I will place the switch here. And maybe I will have still enough space or maybe not. Well, maybe I do have enough space. So let's continue with our logic circuit. So I will take the cable from the logic switch.
Where is that special cave corner? This is it now. Power low. Maybe this one? Yeah, this one. I will use this one. So this and this. And I will use a logic reader and logic writer. Logic reader to read the switch, and the logic writer will activate the digital valve, right? So, input logic switch or just switch, open, so I will, I will cut this cable for easier programming, so the logic writer, the input will be logic reader, and the output, of course I need to connect the output first, just like this, and the output will be digital valve. The logic writer, the output will be digital valve and the variable will be on. Good. And now I need uh, electricity right here. So I will run the electricity in the, this line. So my battery is low, not critical yet, so it's good. PK, PK uh, I'm off mate, take it easy. Oh, thank you very much for watching, Mighty White. See you soon and sleep well. Or if you are going for a drink, cheers, I'm saying cheers. So, I don't have enough cable again, but I have the cable in the locker, so I will grab it and I will connect it right here. Let's say this is a some kind of a temporary cabling because the cabling, I will change it probably 500 times before it will be completely finished. So this and this and now we have the power, right? We do. This one doesn't have the power, so I can cut this cable here. If you have power there, here, so why are you complaining? Not, so this one is not programmed, okay. And now I need to cut this cable here. So, five or six, no, five, I don't care. I think it is still the same price, so nobody cares. I did something stupid right here because I should uh, turn on this pipe analyzer before connecting these uh, logic chips to electricity but that's not an issue so I will vent the furnace will be empty in a few seconds okay. like there will there will be no gas okay I will eat something
and we will see what will happen next. So the furnace is empty. So I will close this valve. Now I will open it. And now I need to vent uh, the furnace. Because this is just this. The pressure inside this uh, small pipe is just too high, so if it goes inside the furnace and I will uh, ignite the furnace, there will be some kind of a disaster, I guess. So I will take some pipes and I will fix it. Where do I have some pipes? I'm too lazy to find uh, the pipes in this uh, place, so I will just print more. Okay, so this is the pipe, the pipes, and I will print a few of them. Maybe few more, and I will be able to connect uh, the fuel pipe uh, or fuel line to the furnace, and then I will vent the furnace. I will get the gases through the filtration system, and then I will mix the gases uh, again. Okay, I should have enough of pipes. So let's take a look. Blah blah blah, everything is fine here. And this is a temporary pipe as well. Because I can make it much much better than it is right now. So I'm I'm at one. Are you still there? Are you in my stream? So if I will press this button, the fuel will go through the furnace and through the filtration system. Yeah, perfect. Now it will run again because this gas mixer is mixing uh, the gases and it is trying to fill the furnace uh, which is vented, so it is like a never ending loop. So we have 293 kPa in, of uh, fuel inside this uh, pipe. Oh, did, did you did you find the video with the solar logic? Was it easy enough for you? The furnace is completely empty. I can close this valve. Everything will be automated right here. But this is just a first step. And of course, I need to change my battery. So I will change the battery and then I will think what can I do. But maybe. I can have a... Okay, I have an idea. So I will print one more gas storage. And I will try uh, the... I will try uh, the welder fuel from the mixer. Ouch. So I will place it here. Yep. And 
and I will automate uh, this uh, as well. So I need pipes again, and let's say this is just a example. Let's say it will be for the small canisters for a for welder. So I will place. A volume pump right here yeah I had the uh, volume pumps uh, around here somewhere so where is the volume pump of course in my inventory right yeah so Volume pump. And I need a pipe analyzer as well. But the pipe ana analyzer will be after this. So pipe analyzer will be here. Here. And I will need a tank connector so it will look like this and I will just think right now I will place pipe analyze analyzer here and then I need uh, to set up another uh, another solar logic low. network, small one. I, uh, I'm at one. I got a working solar script. Gonna look through your other tutorials tomorrow. I kind of want to want to try and build solar script that searches for the optimal angle by the power output, and then difference the uh, timestamp. Yeah, it it, it is uh, it is possible, but. My tutorial it was a uh, for a new players who don't know how to do it so it is just a very very basic uh, tutorial of course you you can play uh, with the logic in so many different ways in this game just I build a clock now that gives me true false values on the on every other tick next is a comparing chain charge values on two different timestamps yeah of course you can there is almost uh, endless uh, possibilities of uh, logic chips and uh, let's say logic uh, systems in th in this game you, c you can basically build whatever you want so I need one more pipe analyzer, I will place it probably here, and a tank connector. And I need to change the battery. Now comes the ad advances challenge. Yeah, yeah, like uh, if you are new new to the game, uh, you will find find out very soon or shortly like you will build something in this game and next in and in next hour you will know how to build it better smaller or more efficient if, if you want to have a laugh I will share one link with you and if you will see what is there uh, you will laugh Check this video and you will like it. I'm absolutely sure you will like it. Do I need one more pipe analyzer? Pipe analyzer, okay. I 
In that video you can see what I did uh, with the logic chips. I would say I did some kind of a advanced uh, furnace system. So this will be the pipe analyzer right here. And now I'm going to automate it. Or maybe not automate it, but make it better. So I will need a logic reader again. And we'll place it here or here. Logic reader. There will be a compare unit. Okay, so this will be the compare unit. There will be one memory. Maybe I will place the memory here. And Then I will need the logic writer, and the logic writer will be the middle. But first, I will connect it with the cables, and I will see if it works or not. So I will disconnect this. will be just a temporary connection just uh, to make the programming easier so something like oh no <laughs> Not this corner, this one. So the input will be the pipe analyzer. The output will be, I mean, uh, the variable will be pressure. This will be the compare unit, so if the pressure is less then this memory this memory will be 7000 now I need to click 70 times so that will be the output for this uh, compare unit So I mean input number two, so this will be power. Now I will now I will cut some cables to make that programming easier. So this is the input number two, okay. Maybe I should rename it as well. So it will be MEM7000 because that will be the pressure inside the welder canister or let's say a portable tank with a fuel. Read the pressure, compare it, if it is less then I need a logic writer and the logic writer will activate this uh, volume pump and I will place the logic writer in the middle right here just like this and then I need a power from here
And of course, I need this crazy corner. So I will use. Or maybe this corner. Yeah, this corner will do. So. This is a corner, yeah. So now I need the three way junction. Okay, perfect. So let's say logic writer right here in the middle. Logic writer and the output will be this, so volume pump. So I will cut it here. volume pump and now I need to program it and then I will connect all the cables so the input so this will be a four four way junction Three way junction, three way junction here, and now I'll pro we'll program it with a screwdriver. So, logic reader, pressure, compare unit, okay, plus, and logic writer, the input will be compare unit. But I will rename that. Compare unit, so compare will pump just in case because uh, if I will take a look uh, tomorrow, then I will be completely lost. So, logic writer compare fuel pump. Compare fuel pump, pump the output will be volume pump of course I need uh, one more connection right here just like this and you will see so the output will be volume pump volume pump and the function will be or the variable will be on so let's take a look but before that I need the uh, one tank connector or maybe two so the tank connector is crafted uh, in this hydraulic pipe bender yeah, that's the tank connector. Okay, this is it. Now I need to take a look because always when I will place it down, I always uh, place it wrong direction. So the input should be on the right side, hopefully. Let's take a look. So maybe, maybe like this. So now I will remove these pipes. Of course, I don't have any other pipes. So I need to craft more. I should craft when I was there, right? And these uh, lockers are empty. So no, I don't have any pipes left. But it, it will take uh, just a while 
to have more pipes. So, pipe. Maybe I will need 10 pipes. Maybe more, maybe less. So, I will connect it and maybe I will craft a dynamic tank so I can ride. Or maybe a canister. Yeah, canister will be a good idea, or is a good idea because then I can check the, the fuel mixer if it is working or not. So a few more pipes and I will go. One more. So I need a canister. This is the punish okay, I don't have iron. I I have I do have iron. So one canister. So I have the canister, I have the pipe, so we will see in less than a minute if it is working or not. So I will connect this guy right here. So it is connected. And I will place the canister right here. And I will save the game just in case because maybe some pipes will blow up when I will start this logic steer cut right here. And let's see if it works. So the pressure in this pipe would be like uh, 7000. Gas mixer is mixing the gases, gases together. So we will see. So the pressure is 1000 and maybe I can make this boiling pump a little bit faster and it will go, yeah it goes faster. So everything should stop when this gas canister will have or this pipe inside will have 7000 kPa. We are in the half right now, almost 3000 kPa. So let's say I will lower the limit and we will see what is going to happen, like if it is working or not. Yeah, it, it 
stopped so it is working so this canister right here should have around 4546 kpa perfect So let's do a small test again with this uh, furnace outside. So I will place this uh, fuel here. I will start the gas generator. Maybe the batteries are empty. No, they are not empty. And I will get uh, some kind, some temperature and uh, pressure inside this uh, furnace. Hmm, something, something is like broken. The gas generator is generating a lot of pressure, but the pressure inside uh, the furnace is not going up. Now it, it, now it does, but it's going very slowly. So I will switch it off, I will take my gas canister and maybe I will flush the furnace like before and we will see. So I will I will check the pressure in this pipe. Almost five hundred degrees. Four hundred eighty degrees. So little bit of oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, CO two, and uh, pollutants. That's good. So it, it is off and I will try it one more time. Okay, so I'm getting the pressure and the temperature. Good to go, see ya around. Okay, bye bye, I'm F1. Uh, see you next time. Hopefully I was not very boring. But this is a new new base, so it will get uh, better and better every time. Or let's say, every stream it should be better and bigger. So I, I will stop the generator and... It looks like... It is working, it is not working as I want, want it to work, but at least it is working. So I'm happy about it. So th this is my future furnace which will be completely automated and it will be better base than I had uh, on the moon so let's take a look inside the greenhouse the greenhouse is empty of course they did pump out all the air which was there or almost all the air which was here so 
and I will extend this greenhouse it will be very very large greenhouse because there is, there is a, a lot of CO2 outside so I will have this time I will have a, a huge greenhouse so I will produce a lot of uh, oxygen and maybe just maybe this is just a, a funny idea let's say if the greenhouse will be really big and if I will release all the oxygen to the Mars atmosphere, maybe one day the Mars will be terraformed and the atmos atmosphere outside will be like on Earth, maybe. So the greenhouse has no pressure inside, which is good. So I'm going to check something again. I need to take a look. So I have energy, I have uh, some gases in the tanks. Right now I should have tons of uh, CO2. I am pumping all the gases from Mars to my tanks. I have a little bit of water. Nice amount of CO2. Not much nitrogen. I have some oxygen as well, and this should be the hydrogen. So, I'm just thinking how can I improve right here? This right here. Or may maybe I will wrap up this stream right now. I will do some more tests, or maybe I will do some tests uh, in offline mode without streaming. And when I will get back, then you can see what I did, like uh, probably some improvements. And guys, if you did like my stream today, you can uh, follow me on Twitch as well. I have my YouTube channel and my YouTube channel is mostly about uh, stationers. So I would say I will wrap it up right here. So I will take a break and I will see you soon probably. So bye bye guys, uh, take care and see you next time.